I am so happy to be back. So, so, so happy. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mel and I'm here to give you an April budget closeout. So if you guys wanna go ahead and see, stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and notification button so you don't miss a video. And if you're returning, welcome back, fams. How are you guys doing? So I am here to kind of give you guys an update on my April budget because I know I haven't been on uh, YouTube. I think my last video was just, I think, my tax. Yeah, my tax uh, video. So I want to kind of give you guys an update on my budget. I'm going to close out April. I'm going to pay off some debt and... And I want to shout out some uh, shops that I bought from. So let's go ahead and just get straight into it, okay? All right, so the first shop that I want to go ahead and shout out is by Carla May. So um, I ordered some stickers from her. So here is some extra stuff that she gave me. And then I already laid out my May budget. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> I ordered the wrong thing. I thought it was like the whole kit, but it wasn't. It was just like the May budget, but it's fine. I'm already ordering stuff from her anyway um but yeah so what I did is I kind of laid down my stickers let me know if you guys want to see me when I budget out my um my paychecks if you want to see me lay down my stickers and all that good stuff let me know down below but this is from her and I've been following Carla May when she was I think her name was simply Cami. I was following her for a very long time. She is on YouTube. She has a channel and I love her family and they're the sweetest. Her daughter is gorgeous and yeah, she is so nice. So I just wanted to give her a shout out. So she does have some stickers and some June stickers as well. So go ahead and here's her card. Go ahead. I'll link it down below so you guys can go ahead and check out her shop okay. was... Wonderless Steva. So you guys already know her. If you guys done the March Madness, you guys already know. Her name is Sean. She is also on uh, YouTube as well. I will link everything down below. I wanted to get some um, some 1K slips because I'm, I'm going to start putting this into my budget so you guys can know exactly how much is in my savings, how much is for my car, how much is everything. Because most of my stuff is in the bank and I don't want to hold on to $1,000. So yeah, so I thought about getting this and I went on her um shop let me tell you let me let me tell you i literally have to talk to myself when i go to her shop i have to be like mel you're only going in there for 1k slips you can't every time i go in there it's like my my cart is full every time and i'll be like get it together mel like her shop is so cute <laughs> like i always have i literally have to talk myself guys it's serious when you have to talk to yourself and be like Okay, you're only, you know how your mom talks to you when you're young, when you go into the store, she's like, don't touch nothing. Don't even look at me. You're not hungry. You already ate. Before we go into the store, don't make me have go crazy. Yeah, I have to talk to myself like that when I click on her shop because if I don't, yeah, I'm going to buy everything. So I told myself, I said, just go in there, get 1K slips, and then go on out. Do your stuff. <laughs> so it is, her shop is amazing. I will link her down below. You guys, oh, so gorgeous. But she gave me these 1K slips and she gave me a freebie. So I did not print out the freebie, but I will. And she just gave me this. It says emergency fund. So I got some 1K slips, guys. Yes. All right, let's put this aside. I changed up my budget. I am now doing bills as cash. Because in my last video, I am one, one month ahead on my bills. So basically... I paid with my YouTube paycheck. If you guys watch my videos with my YouTube paycheck, what I did is I uh, paid one month in advance for my bill. So I put all that money um, at the end of March into my bill account and my bills are on auto pay. So I was good. So April, during April, I was just putting money in my bill envelopes for May. So basically I'm one month ahead. So I kind of want to show you. So I was thinking, I was like, okay, I'm going to need a binder. I'm going to need some stuff. Guys, look at this binder. It is so cute. I got this from Vede Budgets. Yes, Vede Budgets. So I've been eyeing her shop for a very long time. And I was just like, okay, like <laughs> that's another shop. I was like, I have to talk to myself. You're going in there. You're, got, you're buying a binder with some envelopes and that's it. Like I literally have to talk to myself. I know it's, it's, it's bad. 
I bought a binder and basically it's like a bundle. I will leave everything down below so you can find her shop. But I just wanna kind of show you guys how detailed like her creativity is and she is really creative, like really, really creative. Um, and all I asked for was my name to be on the cover. Now she did message me and she asked me, okay, where? I said, girl, surprise me. I was like, I know I'm not gonna be disappointed. So surprise me, do whatever. And she really did it. So I went with the mint color and she did put my name here, Mel Budgets. Now wait till I open it guys, just, just wait. So once you open it, look at that. So. She put my name on the inside. She gave me some freebies, as you can see. And then she put my, my little motto that I have, living life on a budget. She put that in the inside and I was just like, I, I just love her. I just love her. Many budgets, you are just, girl. So I think you see me on um, Instagram kind of show you guys when I opened it and I was blown away. Like she did that, she killed this. Like I was like, okay. So yeah, so here are the envelopes that I chose. I, charged, I chose the marble envelopes. And as you can see for my bills, I have rent, subscriptions, utilities, phone, spa, credit card. And then this money right here, um, was for another envelope that I have coming in the mail. This is from another shop. I ordered it like April 11th and it wasn't shipped out till the 23rd and I knew I was like, oh, I'm not gonna get that. I'm not gonna get that envelope in time to do my this video. So this is basically um, the money, like when I purchase stuff with my card and my buffer and I don't have my sticky funds binder with me or anything like that, then um, what I do is I take out, when I get home, I take out the exact money out of the envelopes, I put it in here and I, and then I put it back into my account. So that's what it is. So the envelope that I ordered was for like a bank deposit envelope thing. So I can just put it straight in there instead of leaving it in a binder, but you know, the mail's low, you know? So yeah, so this is basically my bills binder and I love it. I just love it. I was showing my boyfriend, I was like, I'm upset. I'm obsessed with this color, I'm obsessed with this marble envelopes. I really recommend you go check out her um, her shop. She's truly a creative and I just love my binder. Thank you so much, Fede. Thank you so much. But yeah, so that's some of the stuff that I got that is new. So yeah, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do our sinking funds close out. I'm gonna show you how much um, I'm paying towards that. And then we'll take all our money out from our bills, from debt, put it in one little lump sum. So you guys can see how much I'm putting in the bank. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go ahead, quickly go through this binder. So you guys can kind of know where um, where I'm at. So with car maintenance, let's see. Uh, we have 230. I think I'm gonna stop at 300 or I'll probably stop now. I'm not really. Sure, but let's go ahead and count. 150, 70, 90, 210, 20, 30. So 230 in car maintenance. So I don't have a car right now, so I'm thinking about stopping. Stopping. Uh, so 230. I did not take anything. I did not take anything out of car maintenance, but I, I know I did add, but I'll do that towards the end. Date night has $29. I did take something out of that. Go ahead and count. So we have 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. All right, $29 in date night. All right. Okay, so house is, let me see how much. 344, 100, 200, 300, 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. All right, so we're not taking anything out of this. Oops, what is this? All right, miscellaneous has 85. 50, 70, 80, 85. $85. Travel, about travel, guys, I let me tell you, I got my ticket for Costa Rica already, and let me tell you, it came out of this, but let me tell you guys, I use Fetch Rewards 
Delta, there's a Delta gift card on there. So you can choose Delta. That's what I like about Fest Rewards, that you're not limited. You can choose whatever gift card you want that's in there. When I saw Delta was in there to get a gift card, what I mean, I, I made sure to download two and I use that towards my ticket. Guys, Fetch Rewards is amazing. If you do not have it, I'm gonna leave my link down below or I'll put it on the screen for my referral code so you can get some points. But what I mean, I lived off Fetch Rewards in April. I used two gift cards for, um, for my ticket and then I used one gift card. Me and my boyfriend went to Carabas. And we haven't, I, actually, we haven't went to Carabas in a very long time. We were really, really hungry. We were sitting at the table and I was like, let me see if I have a gift card. And I, and there was a gift card for Carabas. It was a $50 gift card. We, we didn't pay any, well, we did, we tipped, of course. But we, basically, our meal was, our meal was paid for. And I was just sitting there, like, all this time, I'm just scanning receipts. I'm not even going in to look for gift card. Like, Fetch Rewards is legit, guys. I'm obsessed. I'll be scanning everybody's receipt at work and everything. You guys need to get on it. I'll leave my code down below. But anyways, I did purchase my ticket. Um, and let me see what else. I do have some other things that I need to um, buy as well. We are doing an all-inclusive. So um, we're just going to put down that deposit. And I'll, I'll talk about this all in my next video where I kind of talk about budgeting for traveling. So yeah, let's just get into it. So let's see, we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 6, 7, 750, 770, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87. So we should have 787 in travel. By August, this is gonna be gone. Because, oops, seven, what was it? Was it 787? I think it's 787. Yeah, 7.87. All right, yeah, this is gonna be gone because there is so much going on and all this stuff. I'm gonna go visit a friend in Florida and it's coming out of this, but I'm staying at her house so I don't have to pay for that much and stuff. Okay, um, that is all. Uh, let's see, me, myself, and I, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. $64. Gonzalez. So we're gonna close this binder, my pink binder, and we're gonna go to our next sinking funds binder. So this is what I use when it comes to like saving like um, yearly for something or oh, car insurance. Car insurance should have 277. All right, so 150, 70, 90. 210, 230, 240, 250, 260, 265, 270, 275, 76. I mean, yeah, 76, 77. All right, so 277. Uh, Christmas has, I gotta up this for sure. Um, 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160. So 160. So I was watching Lauren Budgets. I love her. I just love her. Um, I was watching Lauren Budgets on YouTube. I'll link her down below. She, she has like nine, I think $800, $900 in her Christmas already. I was just like, okay, Mel, you gotta get it together. I only have a hundred. <laughs> and I understand like everybody's budget is different, but I was like, yeah, $5. Like, <laughs> and I'm trying to do New York at Christmas. Yeah, Mel, you need to you need to up the price on that one, right? Yeah. So she inspired me. I was like, I think I'm gonna start putting a little bit more. Yeah, so five dollars. So Costco. Also, another new thing with Costco, we decided to go every three to four months. Um, yeah, we're running out of stuff. So that's something me and my boyfriend were like, yeah, we need to start doing three to four months instead of five, six months. So we have 50, 70, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55. So we should have 155 in Costco. And that's another video. I will take you guys along. And I'm so excited for that one. Uh, emergency fund. All right. So we have 150, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 10, 20, 30. So 230 in emergency fund. I do have a thousand in the bank. So that's one that's probably gonna get a one case slip so you guys can see. 
All right, and then what else? Rollover, I don't, I don't um, track that. School, I believe, I think it has like 401 or something. No, 486. 486, so 100, 200, 300, 400, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 586. 486. Right. Yeah, school was killing me this month, man. Like I had everything due, projects were due, presentations were due. I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to take April off. This is not gonna work. But I made it through. We are done. I'm passing. Thank you, Jesus. All right, Thanksgiving. Um, has 26. Let's go ahead and count. I count everything because sometimes I'll be messing up my stuff. $26. That's why I track everything because like certain things I don't track like me, myself, and I, YouTube, mm -mm. but when it comes to stuff like this, I make sure to track. All right, and then my last one, triple A, should have $66. So we have 20, 40, 60, 65, 66. $66 and triple A. All right, let's close that. Then we're gonna go to like the big savings. So, which is my new car and my mail savings. So, my mail savings I keep in this envelope here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a thousand and fifty, sixty, sixty-five. So, ten sixty-five is in mail savings. So as you guys know, I do not keep a thousand dollars. If the envelope has more than a thousand, I do not keep it in the house. So I will be using um, Wonderless Diva's uh, 1K slips. So I'll show you guys all of that when I do like an exchange video where I exchange my bills and stuff. So this is my car fund. Uh, let's see what we have this month. So 1180, let's go ahead and count, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. So eleven eighty. Um, oops, eleven eighty. Okay. All right. So that is all set. I'm gonna be putting a lot of money to the bank. So these two are going to the bank. Let me put that right here so you guys can see that. Um, and let's go ahead and tally up how much we have in our singing funds this month. Okay, so right now in our sinking funds that has nothing to do with the savings challenge, that's minusing that, that's minusing like my YouTube envelope, stuff like that. So we have 5,184, which is awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and close out our last credit card. So you guys already know I have one more credit card left. I already told you about this credit card. I will uh, put the video here in the card section so you can kind of understand the reason why I have this credit card and all that stuff so my i did make a big payment last time so this is my balance 1367 so let's go ahead and count what's in my debt envelope now how i do this is every time i do a cash stuffing anytime i have anything left over from um stuffing my envelopes what i do is i put it in this folder i accumulate it and at the end of the month i count it and i just make one big payment towards the end of the month so this is my envelope Let's go ahead and count and see how much money is going to debt. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 620. Wow, okay. So we're doing $620 towards debt. All right, so, and I want this card to be done by August, literally. Like, I'm so sick and tired of this card. If you guys get like an attitude sometimes when you pay in debt, you just be like, I'm so sick and tired of this. 
That's how I am. That's, that's how I am right now. I'm just sick and tired of this damn card. But anyways, so we have $620 that is going towards debt. So it's 20. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. Let me see. Okay, so 1367. And we're gonna minus 620. Whoo! Thank you. Did I do that right? Hold on. All right, so the remaining balance is $747.18. Oh, Lord, thank you. All right, so that's basically it for my debt. So I'm gonna go ahead, put this right here because this is what's going to the bank. Now also, let me go ahead and close this. I'm gonna show you guys what else is going to the bank. Um, mentioned my my new binder, which I am doing bills now in cash. I'm gonna take out our our uh, bill money so we can go ahead and deposit. So for rent, we're taking out the $400. I'm gonna put that right here. That's going to the bank. Subscriptions. We have 20, 40, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. $65, that's all my subscriptions all together. Utilities is like a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, it's like um, gas, no, it's like electric. Oh, what else? I, I just put everything together. When I do a budget with me, you guys would see. But I need exactly this much. 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97. So 197 going to the bank. Phone, phone bill will be due the, I think the second week? No, the first week of May. So uh, my bill is like 110, so that is also going to the bank. And then spa is $60. So 60 going to the bank. And then credit card. Now credit card, this is basically the payment uh, that I have to make for my last credit card. So I didn't even add that to the balance. So right now we have $75. So I will include that um, into my closeout as well, which I didn't. So we'll do that in a second. So um, this is actually the payment. So I do that separately. I do the payment and then I do the debt snowball. So $75. And then this is, I explained this before, this is all the money that when I use my buffer, cause I, I don't have my sinking funds on hand. So there you go. So I will be depositing this for my bills. Now this is for May's bills. So May's bills is done. I don't have to worry about it. I'm just gonna put this in a bank and it's gonna be on auto pay. And then we're gonna do debt. And then we're also going to do my savings cause each envelope in here, my mail savings and my car, my new car fund all has a thousand, so I don't want to keep that in the house. So I'm gonna go ahead and deposit all of it. That's why I wanted just like a kind of big deposit envelope so I can put all the money in there instead of traveling with so many. You know what I mean? Yeah. Go ahead and add that to this balance. So we had 747.18 minus, right? So if we minus 75 from this, We have a, where is my green? How do I just be losing stuff, man? Okay, so then our balance is $672.18, so great. Once I get the hang of doing uh, the bills and all that other stuff, I'll be a little bit more organized, but this is actually the first time where I'm actually taking money out of my envelopes and all the other good stuff and putting it into the bank. So I hope you guys loved this video. Let me know down below what ideas you guys want to see. If you're new here and you like what you see, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and notification button so you don't miss a video. And yeah, so that is basically all for today. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.